جب حجاب پردائے غیبت اٹھایا جائے گا ایک دن وہ آئے گا ہی از اے چارٹر اکاؤنٹنٹ ہی از اے ڈائریکٹر آف فائنانس اینڈ آپریشنس 24 years of rich experience working in a US based Indian subsidiary his topic what is the significance of a hidden imam he shall be speaking in english we welcome on stage janab aman mukhi sahab bismillah ar rahman ar rahim respected scholars my dear friends assalamu alaikum it's a great privilege and honor to be here to speak in front of you all about our imam Uh, the topic given to me is the significance of the hidden imam and I'd like to discuss this with you all in the following stages. First, let us understand or try and, uh, try and establish the proof of Allah on this earth. Secondly, we'll try and discuss the Shia Aqidah under the light of the Hadith by our Masumin. Thirdly, we'll touch base on the Sunni viewpoint on this. And lastly, let us go into history to see if apparent help or help or guidance has been received from the Imam in spite of he being in Gaibad. So with this I'd like to start with the first point that is proof of Allah on this earth. I'd like to begin by quoting the Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Surah Anbiya verse 73 and I quote Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and, and, we, and we made them Imams who guide the people by our command. This verse clearly says that the Imams are the people who sent for the guidance of, of the people. Taking help of the hadith on the same topic, Imam Jafar Sadiq salam says that had the earth not been without an imam, it would sink and swallow its inhabitants. This confirms that the safety of the people is on account of the imam. Moving further, Imam Mehdi himself is quoted in, in, <coughs> in Kamaluddin to have said that certainly I am the cause of the safety of the people of the world as the stars are the cause of the safety of the heavens. The verse above quoted and the two hadiths allow us to clearly confirm that the Holy Prophet and the Imam are the proof of Allah on this earth and the reason for its safety. After understanding the proof of Allah on this earth, that there is a proof of Allah on this earth, let us try and understand the, uh, let us try and further deep dive into the topic of significance of hidden Imam through the various hadiths by our Masumin. Once again I quote the Holy Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, verse number 4, ayat number 59, بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا اے الزین آمنو عطی اللہ و عطی الرسول و اول الامر المنکم ٹرانسلیشن بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم او دوز ہو بلیو اوبے اللہ اوبے دا میسنجر اینڈ دوز ہو آتھارٹی امنگس ٹیو جناب جابر ربد عبداللہ انصاری رحمت اللہ علیہ ہیڈ دی آنر آف آسین دا ایکسپرینیشن آف دس آیت ٹو ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ویرین ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ دیٹ دا آتھارٹی امنگ دا پیپل among the Shias will be in Gaibad, hidden, to which, Imam, to which Janab Jabir inquired that if he is hidden, how will our Shias be able to get the benefit from the Imam? The Holy Prophet ﷺ replied that this that will be similar to the benefit derived from the sun while it is behind the clouds. In another hadith, Imam Jafar Sadiq was asked by Maharan al-Damish that what will be the benefit of the hidden or the concealed proof? And Imam again replied that the benefit will be similar to the benefit of the sun once uh, derived by the people once it is behind the clouds. Imam Mehdi alayhi salam was also asked the same question through a letter and his letter to Yaq uh, Janab Ishaq bin Yaqub through the second deputy Janab Muhammad bin Usman rahmatullah alayhi uh, Imam said that deriving benefit from me during the occultation is like obtaining advantage from me or advantage from the sun when it is behind the clouds. All the three hadiths from Masumin are, are on the same topic and have the same answer that the benefit of the Imam while in Gaibad is similar to the benefit of the sun when it is behind the clouds. In trying to understand this hadith further, I would like to take the help of Janab Allah Majlisi who is given an analysis of this hadith and I would like to take few pointers from them to take our discussion further. Janab Allah Majlisi says that just the, just the way sun is behind the clouds, there are people who wait for the sun, for the clouds to pass away and for the sun to reappear. Similarly, he says that the Shias in the Gaibat should be appearing, for, uh, waiting for the appearance of the Imam and praying for him for the Gaibat to end and for him to come, uh, come to appearance. Secondly, he says that occasionally the clouds move and at times people are, some people can see the sun but some cannot. Similar analogy is given to the Imam wherein in Gaibat some people have been able to see the Imam physically. 
even though he is in Gaibad. Moving forward, he says that some homes are not able to get the rays of sunlight because of the curtains in their windows. Similarly, if there are, there are wheels on our hearts which don't allow us to get the light or the guidance from the Imam. Similarly, it is, accordingly, it is requested that we should follow the uh, teaching of the Alebas for to remove the wheels from our heart for able to us to get closer to the Imam. Finally, he, he says that just like the sun, which is the center of the solar system, Imam is the center axis of the universe. And even the sun follows the command of the Imam. This, I think, conclusively proves that there is a definitely benefit of a hidden Imam from a Shia point of view. Now, let us try and see if, there is, if we can get some Sunni references which confirm the same belief. And I'd like to quote uh, two Shia scholars who've said, who've quoted the Hadith of Imam Jafar Sadiq al on the same topic in their book. And I quote, Sheikh Suleiman bin Sheikh Ibrahim Kundusi in his book, Yanaibul Mawadda, who's quoted from Faradu Sibten of Sheikh Hamavi. Both these scholars are of Sunni, Sunni scholars are of repute and I've quoted this Hadith confirming that the belief of, or the significance of a hidden Imam is not only a Shia belief. Finally, let us go into or delve into history to try and see if we've got or if there are any instances where Imam has met, the, met people physically and given them apparent help. And as we search history, we can find many instances where Imam has uh, come to people and helped them, helped them apparently. One of my favorite incidents which I'd like to quote here is the, is the incidence of the pomegranate. Once again, from the book of uh, Allama Majlisi, wherein he's quoted this incident, that during the British rule in Bahrain, Bahrain, as you know, is, uh, is a country where the majority is Shias. However, the Britishers had appointed a Sunni governor, who in turn appointed a, a Sunni minister who had animosity against the Shias. And he tried to, he, he was trying to suppress Shias and always on the hunt to try and defame Shias. One day he came with a pomegranate to the governor saying that, see, this pomegranate is, is from Allah and it, which says that Abu Bakr, Omar, Usman, Ali are the four caliphs of Allah. The governor was delighted to see that his, his faith is being proved by, by a pomegranate. And suddenly all the Shias were, uh, Shias were summoned to say that try and come up with an answer to this. Or there were three things, three conditions put by the governor saying that either you convert to Sunni or you'll be killed or you'll have to pay taxes which non-Muslims pay. And the Shias were perplexed and bothered, but they found that they, they found that the only way this could be was to try and approach the Imam and get help from him. It was decided that the three scholars would go out of the city in the wilderness of the night and seek guidance from Imam. First two days, two scholars went, but they couldn't come back with an answer. The third day, uh, the, 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 the most religious scholar went out in the city and he was greeted by a person who had splen I mean, great personality. And he asked, the, he asked the scholar whether, what is your question? And the scholar replied that if you are my imam, you'll know my problem. Alhamdulillah. And he said, yes, I know your problem and don't worry, I'll give you the answer for this. The imam guided the scholar saying that tomorrow you go to the governor and ask him to come to the minister's house. At the terrace of the minister's house, you'll find two Two, mod, two inscriptions in steel or in metal which had that Ali, uh, Abu Bakr, Umar, Usman, Ali are the caliphs of Imam. And the Imam explained to him that the minister, while the fruit was, uh, while the fruit was small, inst instilled this in the fruit. And that's how when the fruit came out or when the fruit was big enough, it had this on, it had written on this. And he also, an Imam also said that you will see the power of Allah when you go to him. Ask him to break the fruit and you will see the power of Allah. Next day, the happy, uh, the happy uh, scholar went to the, uh, went to the governor and asked him to come to the house of the, the minister. And they both went there. The minister was perplexed and obviously sad at what was happening and how this could happen. So they went to the terrace and found the two molds wherein, which were used to write that on the pomegranate. And then... <clears throat> Once the governor asked the minister to cut the uh, cut the pomegranate, the face of the minister was blackened with the fumes coming out from the pomegranate, as as advised by Imam Ali Salam. So here we can see that apparent apparent help was received from the Imam, in spite of he being in Gaibar, and the the faith of the Shias was saved. I'd like to conclude that based on all these, we can easily conclude that Imam is always there to is always prepared to help us. It is just that it is our, uh, we need to know how to approach him and how for him to call in a proper way so that he helps us. Thank you very much.
Salawat wa Muhammad. From 12 talks, we would like to honor you with this. Summarizing uh, Mr. Aman Mukhi Sahab's speech, where he spoke about the significance of the hidden Imam. He spoke about deriving benefit from the Imam is like deriving benefit from the sun when it is behind the clouds. And the people wait for the clouds to move so that they can see and take benefit. Similarly for Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Like the sun which is the center of the solar system, so too Imam Mahdi is the focal point on which the universe functions. <laughs> Sadaqallahu al-Aliyyu al-Azim.